to my channel and welcome back to Luxmas. It's my version of Vlogmas. <laughs> um, today we are doing my coat collection. The coats are behind me. We're in the closet. We're gonna keep this super simple and hopefully this is helpful. I will try to link any of the coats below if they're still available. I'm a coat and boot kind of girl, so this may seem excessive to some, but if you love coats, then this seems like totally normal. So to keep this as quick as possible, I'm just gonna go in color order because that's how I have my clothes organized. So we're gonna start with the black coats. And let's see. Oh, I forgot about this one. Okay, the first coat is this Shearling. Um, it's like a moto bomber. It's from H&M. I've had it forever they do some version of this every year it is a dupe of the kind of like acne aviator coat and she's a stunner i never ever let her go i've probably had this for like five years um that is the back let's close that there we go so this is what she looks like and i have this in a size six i believe oh my god now i have this in a 10. So I really wanted, again, I wanted the oversized feel. I wanted it to feel like the acne one. So I got it super oversized and I love it. It's not reversible, but I love how it has kind of like this leather trim, has a high collar, super, super cute. And then this little belt detail. It is a little annoying, but <laughs> I will try to link this year's version if they have something out already from H&M. The next one is probably top three favorite coats and it is thrifted and I love it so so much it's by the brand style limited it's made in the US um, I got it when I was in the like the DC area from a store called unique which is like my favorite thrift store it's what size is this I want to say it's like a 10 or 14 um, I love oversized coats this is giving, <laughs> I mentioned this before, this coat gives all of the 90s Home Alone, the mom vibes. This is full length shoulder pad. This is definitely a vintage um, coat. It is made of wool. It has pockets on the side. I love this coat so much. It's a full on vibe. I highly recommend. I mean, like these coats you can find at Zara and, you know, a bunch of different stores, but go to your local thrift store. Go to... Go to a thrift store in a high-end neighborhood where like someone's grandma probably donated a coat like this. My favorite thing to do with this coat is throw it over my shoulders. Child, do you see this? Do you see those shoulders? Those are some vintage shoulders right there. She's power, this is power moves right here. Oh my God. Um, and this coat again from the thrift store was like $19.99, I'm pretty positive. Okay, I put the camera down just a little bit so we can try to get like the full length. So hopefully this is better, but this is still the um, thrifted coat and this is how long she goes. And I love her. Again, top, top three coats. Okay, moving, moving on. I don't know, does someone need this many black coats? I don't know. But you guys saw this gym that I got from Misguided. I have this in a size six. This is, this is what I love about kind of like high street um, fast fashion sometimes is that you can try out trends without like really investing a lot. So the quilted coat style is super in. Um, so I picked this one up from Misguided. I showed it in a haul and it's worth every penny. Um, if it's still available, of course, I will link it below, but this is literally right on trend. This whole, like the top is kind of got that shawl vibe. And then again, the quilted um, detail just makes it super current um, without spending a ton of money. Like, will I want to wear this in two years? I'm not sure, but I'm obsessed with it <laughs> this season and I don't feel bad about spending the money that it costs. I'm sure it's up on the screen how much it was. Let me come close, kind of show you the quilted detail, but super impressed and this also comes in another color i want to say white which i was heavily considering getting i probably still should and it also comes with a belt so um really good at like keeping you warm of course but also just like giving you kind of some shape as pockets this is not going to keep you warm um so definitely layer this this is more of like a fashion coat 
Um, probably good for like the 60s, 50 degree temperatures. This is Fahrenheit if you're not in the US. Um, but then once it gets colder than that, you'll definitely have to like layer up. But yeah, I love this. Love, love, love. That's the back. And then you can like ugh, pop it up if it's like, you know, really cold and you don't have on like a turtleneck or something. So love her. It's my purpose, <laughs> which I also showed a, a while ago. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to wear it yet because again, it hasn't gotten that cold. This is from a fancy success and her line is called Lux Furs and I love her. We're like Instagram friends, <laughs> but she has a fur business and I tell you, you see this? She customizes the furs as well. So like mine, she made like perfect for my height. I'm five four, so like she customizes them. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's it's they have pockets, which is just like I cannot wait <laughs> to wear this with a turtleneck and some boots. Like if you go to her page, she, she kills all the looks in her furs, and she just makes you want one. But. This is, I'll put, I'm sure the name is on the screen because I have no idea what it's exactly called, but it's stunning and it's warm. Um, she does these in like full coats and like short versions and all that. But I really wanted a vest because I have nothing like this, so. Okay, next up in the brown family, <laughs> I have this kind of like faux fur situation, teddy bear situation. This is from H&M. I got it last year after I saw June Ambrose wear it and I searched high and low. <laughs> to try to find this. She, I think she had it in gray and you couldn't find the gray anywhere. Um, I actually got it in a small because that was the only, this was the only one I could find. <laughs> um, and that is the back, but it's super oversized. So um, it still fits pretty good. It does have buttons and then it comes with a belt, but it's kind of like a, you know, like an actual belt. So that's kind of cool where you can like literally like cinch it. I would never do that probably, but <laughs> good option but this is definitely a coat that will keep you warm if they have it of course i will link it i'm sure they'll do an updated version moving on is probably my favorite coat i'm just gonna put it out there um i wanted it for years and i found it in paris at the balenciaga outlet it was one of the best days of my life it is the hourglass coat. This one is in wool. Now, unlike the um, checked coat that I have, that's more of like a spring coat. It's it's very lightweight. This is a winter coat. Like I don't wear this until it is cold because she is heavy. She's thick. Again, she's wool. Um, oh, let me check the size. I'm pretty sure I got this. Yes, I got this in a 40 because that was all they had. I'm typically a 38. But this was the only one <laughs> and i said it'll work um especially because i want to be able to like do you know chunky sweaters underneath it and stuff like that so um i'm pretty sure i got this like 50 percent off when i found it it was literally the only thing <laughs> i wanted when i went to paris and they have like you know just like we have outlets here they had an outlet there right outside of paris and i found it and it's perfect i love the color i love this deep deep tan deep cognac it's not a chocolate brown but it's like really in the middle but it goes with everything it looks nice with black it looks nice with denim i love the structure it just oh it buttons yeah buttons here i never button it but if you are interested that's kind of the shape oh my god i just love it now this is definitely on the jacket side I got this in a size six. Oh my God, this color is stunning. I still haven't worn this one yet, even though we're kind of in the perfect weather and I need to get some layers out of it before it gets too cold. This is kind of cute with this outfit. Um, but again, I just really liked the kind of like vibe and the faux croc. And I just thought, oh, this is perfect with my boots too. But yeah, this is this one again. I haven't worn it yet, but I feel like it will come in handy. Like it's one of those pieces where I just need like an outfit topper and this will be that. So <laughs> really happy I got it and I got it in a size six. Fits pretty good. Um, comes with a belt that I would probably just tie like this. Does have pockets. And that's her. We're venturing into the blues now. Now I've surprisingly have a lot of blue coats i don't know why but i do so <laughs> let's get into them okay next up is 
another kind of like forever piece. I, I've had it for I don't know, five or six years. It's from Zara. It's in a size medium. And it's like, I guess it's like a pea coat. Um, and I adore this coat. I don't wear it a lot, but I keep it year after year because it's just such a classic style. It is has very Ralph Lauren vibes. It's like that sailor kind of um, nod. I love the gold trim, the buttons. It needs a lip roller. I haven't worn it again this year, but it's just so classic. It has like this really cool detail here. Like to me, every time I pull this out, it always impresses me. Just like the quality, the material. Yeah, it's super simple, but it's like when I want that more classic style, like if I just wore this with like some jeans, some riding boots, you know, it's very, again, it's very Ralph Lauren. <laughs> and I like that. Sometimes that's the vibe. Next thing is a stunner. I don't get much use out of it and I'm pretty sure it was in my worst luxury purchases video last year but I still have it and I'm trying to do better it is this stunning navy patent leather coat by Udon Choi um, I bought this from Frankie shop when I was in New York and I was in the store and I just couldn't resist it was fashion week I was hopped up on excitement um, and I saw this and I was just like, oh my God, it's so different. <laughs> and I still feel the same way. <laughs> it is so different. It's it's stunning and I'll probably keep it forever. forever. Like it is a statement because for Fashion Week, I did wear this and I just like tightened it like that. I had on a turtleneck, I'll probably picture if I can find it. And I had on my Fendi boots and I just felt like that bitch. Um, and it, <laughs> it's stunning. It is literally stunning. I love it. I just need to wear it more, but it's also one of those, I feel like one of those forever pieces. It won't get a ton of wear every season, but I think I'll just pull it out season after season. So, Also the back has like <laughs> these poppers so you can like open them. Why would you need to do that? I don't know, but I love it. So next is another <laughs> blue patent leather coat because I don't know. I don't know why. This is a Zara special puffer. The long puffers really came in style last year. And I had to hop on it because I was intrigued. Um, this is a size medium and it's in this stunning cobalt blue. I could not resist. Um, and I actually did wear this a good amount last year. It is super warm. I wore this specifically, I can pop up a picture. I wore it to Bush Gardens. It was outside all day, warm as could be. Everyone was staring at me, <laughs> but you know. That's how we roll over here. We don't mind. I love this stuff. It has pockets. It's just easy. Yeah, I say more. Um, if you like this style but you want a more toned down version, Aritzia does this coat. I'm pretty sure that's like where it came from. Um, it's called the Super Puff. I will also link that below. But they do it in like really neutral, calm colors. Um, and I think Zara just kind of like hopped on it and kind of ran with it in like the crazy colors. So. I will try to find dupes of this because I have not seen this this year except Aritzia. It's like their coat they bring out every year. So, is this from Nasty Gal? Yes, it's in a medium large and it's a teddy coat. And I'm pretty sure I got this last year too. And I just could not resist this color. Again, there's a lot of blues, but they're all different. This is like a baby blue, which oh, is stunning. I've been back and forth about investing in like. A quality teddy coat but I just don't I just don't get the wear out of them so I feel like that's where I like to kind of keep it cheap and cheerful um, the coats I wear the most are more structured it's just more my style so I got this just to kind of like test out the trend I barely wore it I liked it when I did wear it but it's not just something I gravitate towards so great um, kind of like tip if you're thinking about investing in something find it for cheap and see how much you wear it so I'm just gonna stick with the cheap versions of Teddy Coats for now. We're going into the pinks. I got one green and then we'll go into the pinks. Okay, next up, I have one green coat. It is from Nasty Gal and it is in a size eight on sites like Nasty Gal, Misguided, Pretty Little Thing, any of those, I always size up just so I can have a more expensive look. So just a tip, this coat I love. It is this patent trench, it's stunning. It is however missing a button, which sucks. It just 
sell off. That's the price you pay when you go the cheap route. Um, but I think I'm going to steal one of these buttons up here because they're kind of hidden. Yeah, I'm going to steal one of these buttons and put it there. So that's how we're going to rock this. But other than that, <laughs> the quality is amazing. It looks like it looks super designer to me. You, you let me know what you think. Um, it's like it's like patent, but it's not too shiny. It has a little belt. It's pockets. I'm impressed. My second favorite coat is also Balenciaga. It's just my favorite cut, my favorite style. It is also an hourglass coat. You've seen this before, but we'll just show it real quick. And I got this one from the Outlet Mall in Palm Springs, Desert Hills, outside of LA. <laughs> and this one I got in a 38 because again, that was the only size and it fit. So this is her, she is stunner this one is a much more lightweight than the um, brown one so it's kind of perfect for like right now and then once it gets a little too cold I have to layer a lot or I just kind of I usually just wait until it gets a little warmer like to me this is almost blazer territory but like a heavy blazer so that is her I wanted this coat for two years legit like I could not believe they had it they literally like went to the back and took it out of a box to show me but love this size 38 again you can button it this one's a little, little snug well not buttons but i love the print just stunner and current favorite i know they're all my favorites it is from sax pots and what size did i get this i bought this from essence on sale of course I wanted it last year and I just couldn't spend the money and then I saw it in the summertime for 50% off they come in size one two and three I have a size two another I'm really into patent that's clearly a trend that I hadn't realized but this is her um, the fur is not detachable if you're curious has a pocket on the inside which that's cool um, has pockets here I love that the buttons are are covered. This is definitely more of a luxurious, this is a splurge. This is not up there with Balenciaga, but I want to say I got this on sale for $650. Okay, so maybe it is. Uh, no, I think Balenciaga comes to like $2,500. Normally not on sale. And I want to say these are like $15. I'll put, I'm sure it's up on screen. But this is definitely a luxury purchase. This was a... This was kind of like my one investment piece. I try to buy a really nice coat every fall, winter, and then really nice boots. Clearly, I went hang on the boots this year. <laughs> so there was just one really nice coat. Uh, so that's, that's her. And I will link these below, sale and non-sale, just so you can see all the colors and options. But sorry, this is Topshop. Oh, remember Topshop? What well, you US remember Topshop? Because they don't have any stores here anymore. I got this in a size six. They made really good coats too. And this was, I think, my first pink coat, which helped me realize how much I love pink. Um, it's more of kind of like an overcoat. It doesn't have a ton of structure, which I'm kind of leaning away from. So I don't wear this as much anymore because I just prefer a more structured silhouette. But this is a nice topper when I'm doing something more casual. So size six, it does have pockets. And this is kind of, again, like a medium warmth. So not super warm, but um, good for layering. It's super roomy. So I feel like two years ago, kind of the overcoat style with like the um, drop shoulder was really in. And I kind of was really into it. So, um, But again, I do like these really bright, fun colors. Oh, God, look at that purple. Child. She is a stunner. This is a size medium. And this is a Zara special. Again, that same drop shoulder, overcoat kind of style. Not my favorite style, but definitely a good statement maker. So that's why I keep her around. As you can see, I love to make statements with my coats and my boots. That's kind of my thing. My clothes in general are pretty simple. I have a few statement pieces here and there, but most of my clothes are super simple and basic. So that way I can invest in them and I know they won't go out of style too soon. And then I kind of get extra with my outerwear and my boots. And that's just how I roll. And my bags. <laughs> They're all colorful. So 
That is that one. I think we're almost done. I think I have one great coat. Okay, next up is another thrift find. And this came with a lining and I took it out, so I don't know the brand. It's super oversized again, and it is like this gray trench, but I love it. Oh, what's the brand? It doesn't say, but this is a size 42. So um, I'm typically being a size 38 or 40, but I loved how this fit. I loved the lapels. Again, this is giving me 90s um, boss mom. <laughs> that's just the vibe that's just the vibe love the shoulder pads i love it go to your thrift store go to your thrift store if you want if you like this shape go to a thrift store comes with a belt um so again just look at that you see how that just did all like it i do need to find a tan it's my favorite thing oh oh look at her yeah i need to go to my local thrift store and find a classic color trench coat because I, I don't have one. I had one from Zara for years um, and it just kind of just got too much wear and tear. So I need to find another one. But this is my trench coat. And then I have one coat left, which is like, you're probably wondering just like an actual super, super winter coat if like there's a blizzard or something <laughs> and I need to go outside. Um, I do have this coat by Shelly Siegel, it's a size medium, and this is just like, it's freezing. It's freezing and I have to do something outside and it needs to be as warm as possible. That's where this one comes in, it has a little zip here. I got this in some random store in the mall that just sold coats. Um, like we were gonna do something outside, or maybe we were going skiing or something. But I need it like a real coat, coat, coat. Like I don't spend that much time outside, I drive everywhere, so. All of my coats suffice, but at the time I needed something super warm. I liked that this one had this little band, so it was like a little flattering. <laughs> um, and then it has this hood, and that's my last coat. <laughs> so yeah, if you're wondering, I do have like just a regular, regular, schmegular. It's cold as hell, coat. <laughs> All right, queens, those are my coats. I hope you enjoyed this video. I also hope you are enjoying Lexus. Leave any video ideas below. We have a lot of days to fill up. So if you wanna see anything specific, let me know, leave it below. Of course, if you stuck around this long, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram at HiloLux and read my blog, HiloLux.com. Also check me out on TikTok for daily outfit inspiration at HiloLux, of course. Uh, I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.